be no black folks hope everybody's doing okay now what we'd kind of like to do is remember when we got the cake bake okay you have to take it with a grain of salt because somebody might have been trying to foresee something for us that they knew that something was in the position and to watch for something okay now no matter what something's pressing through that cloud okay no matter what heat or something and yeah They've been having a fun time so far this morning with what I've been able to find. So basically, you get a nice shot here, folks. Let's get this down to like 200, okay? There's one thing in, in big tough things, folks. You can always make a friend out of your enemy because they owe you, okay? So now, basically, someone was possibly, but we don't know for sure until we keep watching this, okay? So now you see this, and now we do know that we are showing Uranus for like, I, I've i never seen Uranus be able to show on maybe some old archives when they've been researching or something, but I don't even remember and recall it. And basically, I'll be checking somebody's identity out very, very closely if they send me something that's just had something Uranus that I've already showed you in this video, okay? But now you have, no matter what, you got cloud cover and we got what the hell because something is definitely shadowing. I mean, your eyes don't fake you there. So that's pretty, and basically so, like when we had the one person, hey, but then we were watching in the spot and then we see something, right? Now, I would say that more than likely before what we were seeing from that video, until they send me a total video when we have all this, you know, not mess with the clock ticking and everything, then that's cool, okay? But as you see there, we just got that. So we thanks for the head up, okay? No matter how we get the heads up, let's just let's, let's say we can read tea leaves, okay? And leave it at that. And then also we get this at the same time, the shadow, okay? Now you just seen with me clicking it back and forth, because I'm going to be able to, we'll be there, okay? Do you see that big shadow there? Pre creased in, and then let's just, I think it's just 10 minutes, right? Okay, there you go. So something, no matter what, atmospheric or something to do with the pole, the axis in the coronal, or actually could be Uranus, could be something big out the back door. And you see the time, so you have to research it and see what the heck could be there, okay? Now, we d I, last night's video, I think I'm pretty sure I showed you something that's 3.3 times the size of Jupiter and so forth and so on. And then you get the shadow here. We can see that on the right hand, so I don't even have to move down. And then you get a big shadow, right? You see that? You get a big shadow. So something in front of the sun at that time, you'd have to go ahead. And I'm not really too worried about that right now. Everybody will be, oh, well, it probably was this and stuff like that. And you can always just throw a comment in, and uh, we'll kind of have it figured out of what might have been in front of the sun at that time. But you can see that that goes in front of the sun, okay, at 16-something UTC down there, okay? Now, this could be weather here, and probably is. But just before that, we had the passing of that in front of, because you see is it shadows the sun pretty damn good. You see that? How it casts a big shadow on the sun. Okay. And then you also had that impression that we ended up seeing through the clouds. And that's no cake bake because this is all footage, folks. Matter of fact, let me knock this down right while I'm talking to you. We'll go ahead and put this down to 150. I think that'll probably show better. So I think I can go back and we'll get that impression. Now we know that that more than likely is just cloud there. Okay. But we had a nice impression. And basically, there you go, okay? And then here comes our shadow. So we definitely have some huge objects out there that we're really not getting a glimpse of from. And yes, they could just be a moon or so forth and so on. You have to see maybe uh, the moon's coming up at that time, up to 1600. So basically research into it, and then in the future, not too worried about it because we've had this at different times, and we've seen it for a long time. So, But we did get the dark and... Uh, bright side of the moon coming over up high not too long ago so I'm pretty confident that that's not the moon at all you have to be confident that that's not the moon at all because we remember we caught and figured out that that was the moon up high before so there's definitely something in front of the sun right here at this hours okay because basically there it comes darkens out big in front of the sun and there it still is okay and then it moves on okay and we also had that impression there so not getting more old on this so from like we've been seeing, we want to see about Mercury here and Venus and see that the idea that the angle on the dangle on the stats, see what we were getting for the pictures the last couple of days. So I'm blowed up on basically, I believe this is Enoch here. And so that was an Enoch shot and they found it back in, let me see real fast. 
And basically it's something that comes around three and a half years cycle around. It's one of the comets that circles around Earth. And basically, uh, but what I'm wanting to make sure people realize is the idea. Now you can see that more than likely it's probably up by the sun or the supergiants because of the pattern there, basically. And there's the info on it. But what I'm trying to make everybody understand is the idea that what we just seen on, okay, this is H12A, okay? Basically, I have to have somebody watching me, what I'm looking at all the time, so we have fun. Who takes over my clicker or my mouse? Scatter. Supervisor control and data acquisition. What is on his monitor? And you can do it, folks. All you got to do is hack. Okay, so there. Because we're going to come down, and you know Jupiter is huge. Okay? Even what's hella large is lots of these things like that. Very bright star out there in the middle of And you just got to go searching for it. And I'm not too worried about all that. Basically, common knowledge of the idea that we've been fake for so long about there's only these like seven or eight planets around and so forth. And in the, okay, so no matter what, that's not by the sun, okay? And that's very bright and that's a comet. Now, that's also somewhat with what I had showed you before when I was showing you up to the these shots up right corner. Remember when I said, I, hey, I found a comet or something. There's three, something three massive moving along or at least two. You know, two for damn sure, and then there we go. We got that. So what the huge hell is that? Now, I don't believe that to be Enoch, but let's go see, and we'll see what we get off of, uh, and no matter what, Jupiter, and what we're seeing for the size of flipping Venus. Okay, there uh, there you go. Okay. Now, remember, you got to put it in a cone. Okay. you got to sc scroll this up in a circle because the idea of this H12B here, okay, and the sun is over here getting blocked. Okay? It's always in the well. The sun is in the flipping well. Also, Aretha earthquakes. There was a 4.0 out east, and we got a 5.3 that's got a hell of a big footprint up in Alaska. Okay? Uh, so then again, the minding, because we know the rings count the band, so the idea that we know it's a 5. Okay? But the idea that how far it spreads out makes you really start wondering if they're taking a tick off. Because we do know that they might possibly in the future try to start hiding some ticks because we're seeing that it's up to three. If we can trust this to be two point something, but we've seen that they take ticks off of quakes all the time anyway. Okay? Do they go to a whole tick? Who knows? But we got a 4.0 out east, okay? So things are just as normal as normal, huh? So we want to thank NASA, all the armed forces, because we know that they help all the satellites get all these shots. So great telemetry, great data, because we got Mercury there. Yes, I never edit my videos. I just hack through them, okay? So let's hack down here to see what we've got there, and we pretty much know that that's not flipping. Well, the only thing it could possibly be, and why the hell would we see in Mercury? Now, I'm going to blow this up to a 1,000, folks, but I'm thinking that this probably right there is Uranus, because Uranus should be dark, okay? And basically, what I'm figuring is, darkness because the idea that they did find stars out behind Uranus and so forth and so on. Some stars, some suns, okay? So it's unique to know, find out, figure out what we know to be this, even though they have it marked Uranus. Okay, is it that right there? It should be something dark. Either that or it's right there under in the U, okay? Because you got to remember they don't have any light. Uh, the sunlight makes Earth look big, shimmers off of our atmospheres, okay? Our magnetic. So they got a current plot here. Pretty sure it'll end up with the Earth is in here in the hole somewhere. And it'll come up. There's Earth. Okay. So the sun is in the well below all this. Okay. So as you can see, we are grouped tightly together right now. Like I was saying, we are really heavy on a grouping. So we're probably going to see some interesting earthquake magnetic from all this from the grouping and the alignment okay so as you can see looking into the well because the sun is below us below all the planets that you've seen right there earth and so forth okay so then we go and we look at our so in a second we'll plot this and these are massive distances folks because you can see also Jupiter is massive and uh, the camera not being that close to Venus, when you see Venus, there's interesting things up with Venus. So the idea that is Venus been flamed by a CME, 
you know, and keep it glowing or something like that. But anyway, no matter what, the super giants and the sun have got Venus being looking very large and very bright right now on their shots. Okay, and I know that's not what I'm showing you right here right now. Let's blow Uranus up to 400 and see if we can disseminate which the hell one it is. So here we are blown up at a thousand, folks. So the best thing I can figure is, well, they got it marked at Uranus. So which one is it? Because as you can see, uh, you might have to contend that maybe it's either right up here, which I don't think it'd be, I think it'd be larger, but the idea you have to remember that it's not glowing like a star. So it could be like the circular right here of Uranus underneath here. But anyway, all I know is somewhere here that NASA has decided to say, hey, Uranus is right there. So it's right there something. So either it's... It's in your view here somewhere, folks. I just, you know, just like anybody else, I'm not the one with the telescope sitting there going, bam. We got, because they have a laser on their telescope, folks. I mean, bam. Because let me show you something again real fast. Uh, well, anyway, I can just state it. If you go to, it's 0 0.10 something percent or something like that. Zero, it's almost like uh, uh, milliamp, folks. When it comes down to it, as far as in space, when they hit these things with a laser, they know where these planets are at, okay? Because the laser helps find them very quickly for them every night, okay? GPS, lasers, everything that the JPL has in its arsenal. Okay, so Uranus is there somewhere, ladies and gentlemen, and I would contend that it would be something dark. So it might be big. And it could be like sh the shadow of what you see right here, that huge and stuff like that. And then it could be smaller because we have learned by just looking at the sun that we have maybe been bogus for sizes of things for a long, long time. Okay, now we do know that everything looks bright because of, but Jupiter is supposed to be, take 11 of them, 10 point something of them to make the sun. Okay, so there you go. And then you know that when we just pop down to 400%, we know that looking at it, that basically the satellite arm blocks out the sun in the well, okay? Because that's the satellite panel, and it blocks out the sun so that they can take their shots, okay? And everything glistens from the sun and the supergiants, okay? So, and more proof, folks, of what you've been looking at. And lots of stuff ends up looking like this. Okay, drawings of old drawings of stars, okay? So secrets bleed out. Bunch of BS out there in the world and people trying to s chase rabbits all the time. Okay, basically stars that people had nothing else to look at. They didn't have t They didn't have a boob tube, folks. They didn't have a TV. They didn't have crap. They didn't have fake bake. They just looked up at the sky and seen what was actually there. So let's take a blow up of that, and you see the last brilliant of stuff like that. So the idea that Enoch basically is not in its fruition right now, it would be in the fall. Now, is it late this year because it's getting close or something? Who knows? But I know that that wasn't Enoch that we've seen in the shots, okay? And we'll go back to that in a second. Let's blow up to this. Now, a Hans Dynasty, okay? And then we want to thank whatever institute that actually has this art. Basically, you found treasure old stuff written on whatever han dynasty yes folks compass even got stolen from china okay things get stolen pillaged han dynasty mongolia i believe or something like that over in asia okay asia asia minor something like that okay now basically as you can see planets okay so the chinese were astronomers Okay, they looked up, or they basically just looked at the stars. Who knows what they want, to, what they have for a Chinese name for. So this is old art, and basically they think that this is parse, uh, basically. But you would think that the idea that basically this is the beginning. But see, then you get in arguments of race and stuff like that. Well, we found it first and everything like that. But you can see that there are symbols for planets or comets, okay? Plus, basically imaging what they look like when they went through the sky, how they originally get their... How would you see the fork, the trident, and all that stuff like that that you see for different planets? I'm not going to get into that because I don't have them memorized. Don't give a rat's ass about that. So, anyway. So, anyway, 1904, American astronomers started seeing it. And basically, it was found in 17-something. Enoch was Enoch. Okay, but we don't think that this is Enoch around here right now. 
But no matter what, for right now, what what she be? Because it's not a subcompact, folks. It's a. Because here's Jupiter. You tell me.